Hi. Um, <clears throat> okay, Maverick Solitaire with uh, Three Card Poker. Um, so what we're looking at here <clears throat> is a picture of James Garner as lovably roguish gambler Brett Maverick during the uh, late 1950s, early 1960s. In season one, episode 17, uh, called Rope of Cards, um, he bets someone that he can deal 25 cards off a randomized shuffled deck and form five pat hands um, with those 25 cards. And what the director did uh, in that situation was he filmed the entire sequence in one take with no edits. So they could see that these were actual cards dealt off. There was no, uh, no movie magic going on or, any, or anything like that. The rumor is that over the next couple days, uh, five and dime stores in the US actually sold out of playing cards uh, as people bought decks uh, in order to check out whether or not this was right. Um, but this gives us what's called uh, Maverick Solitaire, dealing the 25 cards, trying to make them into the five pat hands. Um, it's what's referred to as a prop or proposition bet, which means it seems like the odds are really against that. Uh, but in actuality, uh, computers estimate that a little over 98% of the time, you will be able to make those five hands uh, out of the 25 cards. Uh, Martin Gardner wrote about this. It appeared in his book, uh, Mathematical Magic Show, uh, in Chapter 7. Uh, and in there, he has um, this picture. Uh, does anybody know which card is the problem card here? OK, uh, time is money because I want my dollar. Uh, but it, it's the four of hearts. Uh, so the problem is the four of hearts isn't going to fit in any flush, any straight. Um, there are no four of a kinds in here, and since no straight, no straight flush. Um, so it won't necessarily happen. Uh, now, strolling through, uh, and I'm going to stick to that, strolling through and not sitting down. Uh, at a casino, there's a game called three-card poker. Uh, and in three-card poker, as it sounds, everybody's dealt three cards. And watching this game, um, you can't help but notice where you go, well, you know, if this guy had that guy's card, then he'd have a really good hand and he'd be making a lot of money off of that. Uh, so the question that comes up is, well, how many hands do you need in order to guarantee that everybody could have a winning hand if you could rearrange the cards at super speed? Uh, in this case, with three card poker, there's two games you can play. The one that we're interested in is the game called Pair Plus. If you have a pair, a flush, straight, three of a kind, or a straight flush with your three cards, these are the payouts. So the question becomes, how many hands do you need? How many people do you need playing? Uh, how many cards do you need to deal out so that you can guarantee you can make that many hands where every hand is at least a pair, if not better? The answer turns out, uh, given any 15 cards, they can be arranged to form three card poker hands that win. Uh, the proof for this is mind-numbing slogging, uh, just going through all the cases. Uh, but it does turn out that if you uh, take your 15 cards and split them up into the suits, then it reduces down to 52 cases, because having um, 10 clubs and 5 hearts is exactly the same as 10 spades and 5 diamonds. So there's 52 cases. Uh, in which case, I'm obliged to point out 52 is 13 times 4. There's my 13. There's my 4. Uh, so yeah, we went through uh, all the different cases and came up with a strategy for each possible situation. They all turned out to have the ability to make winning hands. Uh, if you notice, there were two different games on that uh, felt. There's the pair plus game and the anti-bonus game. Uh, the anti bonus game is a separate game that you can play against the dealer. And in that game, uh, you get bonuses for a straight, uh, three of a kind, and a straight flush. What I want to point out about that is not every situation can you guarantee that you're going to have hands that will win the anti bonus. So it's possible to have all five hands win pair plus, but it turns out you have three flushes and two pairs. So nothing wins the extra money. Uh, so one question that is beyond my ability is what percentage of the time do you actually have hands that would win in the anti-bonus play? Uh, and that I do not know. Thank you very much.